Movies and film have played a major role in defining modern entertainment since its creation over a hundred years ago. Even as a little kid, I myself found movies to be extremely entertaining, especially animated films with their ability to tell imaginative stories that were not bound or limited by what is physically possible, allowing one's suspension of disbelief to go beyond something that could be done in the physical live-action film industry. One of the most lengthy and diverse filmographies for a single animation director, Hayao Miyazaki, who has had one of the most widespread influential careers in animation history, is going to be the subject for today's talk. Um, so today I will be talking about his career and impact left by Hayao Miyazaki. Specifically, I will be going over the early years of his career, including the creation of Studio Ghibli, his time working at Studio Ghibli as lead director, and the impact left behind by his career. Um, so first, let's just start from the beginning of Hayao Miyazaki's career, going all the way back to 1963, with him just being a simple animator. He would get his first chance to be a director for a feature-length film, um, in 1979 for the film Lupin the Third, Castle of Cagliostro. While being a commercial failure at initial release, the film would later find success upon being rebroadcast on television. As expressed by Patrick Ritsky, a uh, writer for The Hollywood Reporter, published on October 24th, 2014, that this film would also have a lasting impact on Pixar animation director John Lasseter, stating that he was blown away and that he felt like he had seen the first animated film that had the ability to entertain people of all ages and had many more positive things to say about it. In 1984, Hayao Miyazaki's second directorial film would actually be something that he wrote and directed himself being an adaptation of a manga Japanese comic book that he made himself. This film would be Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind which would be a hit in the box office as well as the boosted viewership from television rebroadcasting just on top of that. So following um, this success of his first two animated films, um, Hayao Miyazaki would go to co-found Studio Ghibli um, and play a crucial role as one of the lead directors for the studio. Now, while the first two films released by Studio Ghibli and directed by Hayao Miyazaki did not make the box office numbers that they were hoping for, um, the money made off of the merchandise and home video sales um, would keep this studio strong and alive. The studio would begin its box office success with the release of Miyazaki's fifth film, Kiki's Delivery Service, in 1989, which would be the start of Studio Ghibli and Miyazaki's extremely successful box office presence and its eventual expansion into the international film scene. Um, by the time Miyazaki would release his film in 1997 titled Princess Mononoke, the studio would already start receiving and um, getting more and more attention by reviewers and audience members outside of Japan. Um, in a film review by uh, Gene uh, Siskel and Roger Ebert, a pair of film critics on their talk show at the movies published by Buena Vista Television, and released in 1998, both Siskel and Ebert reviewed Kiki's Delivery Service, giving it the highest rating that they were allotted to give um, based off of their own criteria of, for the show, stating that the quality of the film was on the same level as Disney, even at its best. Um, so after the success of Kiki's Delivery Service and the following film by Miyazaki titled Porco Rosso, the films that followed would leave some of the largest impacts on not just the Japanese animation scene, but on the film industry as a whole. 
In 2001, Hayao Miyazaki would release his most influential film, titled Spirited Away, which would take the title for the highest grossing Japanese film um, of all time for 19 years, both animated and live action, and including international sales inside of Japan. Um, the f subsequent films that came after, directed by Miyazaki, would even fit within the top grossing Japanese films of all time, never taking the number one from Spirited Away. On the 75th Academy Awards ceremony on ABC on March 23rd, 2003, presenter Cameron Diaz would announce the winner for the animated film of the year winner to be none other than Spirited Away. To this day, Hayao Miyazaki's Spirited Away remains to be the only Japanese animated film to win any major Academy Awards, excluding one short film win in the short film category. All things considered, Hayao Miyazaki has had one of the most successful careers in animation history. Today, I got to share with you just a brief history of the career of Hayao Miyazaki from his, the early years of his career and building up and founding his own studio and into uh, just a small part of the impact that his career has had on the industry as a whole. Hayao Miyazaki's 60 year long career in animation has left a lasting impact on the medium as a whole. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry for the length. See you next time. So yeah.